Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video. And we just finished up the live streams where we summoned for the new uh, gr Bridegroom Slime Rimuru. And I just want to kind of go over a little bit of some details on his banner and him as a whole, and whether or not, based on my initial usage during the stream, if he is worth a summon. Now, I'm going to put this up because I have sleep to get to and I have other things to take care of tonight so I'm unfortunately not going to be able to record um, his showcase until later tomorrow like tomorrow afternoon my time so it's going to be a little bit for before I get to it uh, so I just wanted to put this video out to give you guys like a heads up and kind of just go over my initial thoughts on him so the first thing to know is he comes with you know special recruit packs we all you know, they always do two times Five tickets each, 1,100 crystals, and rice balls for 100, which actually seems a little bit low. Normally they give like 1,200 and 200 food, so I don't know why they kind of reduced it down. But the important thing to note is that Rimuru has a one and a half times increase on his pull rate. So instead of a 0.7%, we are up to like a 1.08%, I believe, on Rimuru, so 1.05%. So, I mean, for any seasoned gacha gamer, that kind of increase is massive. Massive! It's the same rate up that Carrion had on his banner, so you were able to pull him, you know, quote unquote, more easily. And I definitely felt the 1% over the 0.7%. Uh, so, huh. I mean, you're about to see the spoiler alert, but if you haven't, go back and watch at least the beginning of the stream during the summons, because that stuff was crazy. I might actually clip that stuff out and make it its own video, because of how crazy it is. Um, but that's enough for Rimuru, so one and a half times increase, there's ticket packs like always. Let's go, I was just on the character screen, let's go check him out. And... <clears throat> so Rimuru, for one, is a balanced growth type, physical attacker, single target alt though, that's good. He uses a hammer. Our first, uh, like our first real mainline five star that uses a hammer, because so f it's only been like Kurobe and the free-to-play Wind Shion that used hammers. So make a hammer for him if you pull him. His EX board is a self booster, which I caught me a little by surprise. So I went ahead and did give it to him. His substats are kind of trash though, and not they're kind of they're actually kind of bad. Guard power, I'm not not too big on that so but he does activate Shion's uh, part which is a 4% pierce power increase let's go find her down here so EX ability release and oh, not that so extra pierce power 1% for having Rimuru in a battle slot so this Rimuru is definitely if you pull him and you're running this new meta team, you're definitely going to want to use him because of his kit. So let's go take a look at said kit. So like I said, he is a single target physical attacker, 430% goes up to 450, so pretty standard there. First skill decreases a single target's pierce resistance by 30% for two turns. Two turns is massive. And then also boosts your secret skill gauge increase by 50%. So, that's pretty good. Secret skills. I mean, greens don't give you a lot of ultimate gauge, right? Just inherently. But 50% extra means that if you have a whole hand of greens, which if you're running Shizu, then you're going to have more often than not, that's going to really work in your favor. And you're decreasing their pierce resistance, which means that your pierce attacks from Shizu are going to do more damage. And if that wasn't enough... His second skill is a single orb change from orange to green, which is the same effect that Shion has. She's a single orb, orange to green. But, Shion boosts your skill point gain, and Rimuru boosts your green damage by 15%. 15! So, if you combine this, you have Shizu giving you Pierce, and a whole hand of greens, which are now uh, green boosted from Shion. Or, uh, C or no, skill gauge boosted by Shion, which are then secret skill boosted by Rimuru, which are then damage boosted by 15%, and all of a sudden your whole hand of green is looking real good. Real good. So he fits incredibly well if you pull him. 
and if you have Shizu, and if you have Shion, because they, they really need to work together. Like, most meta characters generally do need each other to work well, uh, but this one really, like, they really work well together. And if that wasn't good enough, he also has a very good trait. He has a protection trait. Not the same as, like, an immediate turn one big boost, but it's almost as good. So when your troop contains three or more battle characters, increases the protection gauge by five, because he's at level 92, so I have the full um, trait effect, by five for the first three turns of battle. So your first turn, extra five points. Next turn, extra five points. Third turn, extra five points. And if you run a team where you have a decent amount of people who give you protection gauge to start with, like the Gazel, Millum, and Millum, and then you have units that give you protection gauge on turn three, like Windmillum, Hero, Space Rimuru, one of those, and you put him on the mix, your your alt, your protection gauge is like full, always, almost all the time. Because with, with this plus five on top of the Gazel, uh, Dark, and Earth Millum, it takes three boosted blues to get to a protection meter. Or it takes four greens. Or it takes three blues that are not boosted at all. And then, because of his trait giving you extra five at the start of turn two, you will then automatically have a protection meter on turn two. For free. Like, you could send three blues and call it good. And you're done. Turn two comes and you've, you've, you've got Shizu active. You've got Hakuro active, I guess, if you want to run that way. Uh, it's, it, it's incredibly useful. So I think that he is a fantastic support unit because the Pierce Resistance down is doing essentially what Water Ranga does, 30% down, but it all his cost is 25 points, and it's his uh, second effect for that on Water Ranga is not as good as this one. It's like counterattack rate down or something like that, like it's trash <laughs> or something like that. I don't remember, but it's it's garbage. It, it this skill blows it out of the water. 10 points less. 50% secret skill gauge increase from greens. It's working real good if you're piercing a lot. So, do I think that he is worth the summons? Maybe. It really depends, again, on do you have Shion and Shizu. If you do, then I think you should still wait. I think you should wait, because as we have seen with a couple of metas now, the second unit always gets outshone by the third unit. So, uh, Water Raphael, outshone by Velzard. Earth Soe, outshone by um, uh, Earth Valentine. Space Meta was kind of weird, because there was only two quote-unquote banners of space units. So it didn't really figure out to that normal kind of thing. But I caution people. He does have a rate up, which is great, which is perfect. But if you don't have the new light meta team you are very easily able to skip this room room because if you're not running a team that gives you pierce and you don't want to one run like water alice or dark Shion, then there's really no reason for you to use him i mean resistance down is good your greens are good but like the light team the old light team ran on oranges and then romerus you know the og protector ran on blues so and if you don't have shizu you're probably most likely, for the most of the time, going to run Hawkrow, who's going oranges. So you're not going to have a lot of greens. Which is going to negate most of his skills. Most, if not all. Besides his orb change, which I don't know if you'd use that anyways. So, if you have the light meta units, maybe be cautious, be patient, wait to see what the third unit is, and then make your decision. I do think he's fantastic, so if you're not impressed with the third unit for some reason, if whatever then go for him. I think he's I think he's great. But for most of the players who didn't summon on Shizu or Shion and didn't get Shizu and Shion, you don't need this Rimuru. You can run just fine with Gazel and the old light team with like Hinata and Leon and all that. But that's it for me, guys. Overview of Rimuru. Uh, I apologize in advance for the lateness of his showcase, but I got real life work and stuff to, you know, takes priority. But that's it for me, guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you later.